Okay, so this video shows you how to use the heat manager, the digital file system. So it all starts with um, within the completed reports actually selecting a, file, a completed uh, room by room heat loss calculation, which will then create your folder. Um, just going to show you the end result though. If I click onto the actual heat manager um, dashboard within there, I can see the existing files, um, folders, sorry. Um, click on this one here. So I've got three, uh, three number of files in there. So that's three files I've uploaded from the dashboard. So click access. So they're the three files I've um, clicked, well, sorry, I've added from the dashboard. As I said before, the default one is always going to be the room by room heat loss calculation, which is there. Um, I've uploaded the EPC and I've also uploaded a, a photograph as well, um, which was to do with the installation. If I scroll down, <clears throat> these files here are actually, uh, we've titled it files uploaded from the property. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be the case because once the actual hyperlink has been emailed to the relevant people that you believe need to see this, this digital file, this folder, um, it, could, it will of course be the, the, the property owner, the customer, but also it could be one of your colleagues, uh, the installers uh, that are on site or, um, or the commissioning engineer. And these are the, anyone who's got the link will be able to upload um, any document type. So photographs, PDFs, anything. In this case of create an example of uploaded uh, a photograph of the installation um, and you may find that um, uh, your installers that are on site or even yourself will add installation photographs just as evidence and also um, commissioning photographs of, of the system so it's very useful for this dynamic two-way uh, folder to be used um, so not only like I said you can upload f um, documents and images from here which will go into this table, um, but um, you and your colleagues and your customers will be able to upload photographs um, and you'll see them appear on, on this table. And you will be informed from the, from the dashboard if anyone's uploaded those. Um, this information here has been brought in from step nine from the heat loss report. So I did actually select a, an air source heat pump and got a grant uh, here and then the flow temperature. So um, we will come out with a uh, hot water cylinder size system um, at the moment. We just got simple uh, editing the number there, the actual cylinder size there. But like I said, we will have a calculator that will do that, dedicated for that soon. Right, so that's the kind of end result of the files here. Um, if I go back, because um, I'll go through the whole sort of process of, of how to actually create a folder. Um, so I go to completed reports and um, it, you've got a share files button here so these buttons are new so I can see these particular properties or these these reports these projects um, the buttons gone green so shared files so I know that these particular projects um, we've already shared the file for that so I want to start afresh so this is a heat loss report I've just completed so I've a click share files what it's doing is converting the um, report into an online PDF version and at the same time it's created a folder so that's the folder name 45 C view um, from the default file name there's my PDF report heat room by room heat loss calculation and as I illustrated before you can upload additional documents as well I'm going to keep it relatively straightforward um, the um, default um, from step 9 values brought in so this is a ground source heat pump um, Kenza um, and also I said the maximum flow temperature is 45 so this is all brought in from step nine as it states states here. So if I want to go and send this to a customer, I click save and confirm because I'm happy with that. And um, this is where I can add uh, the email address. So I click add. And just to really point out to you guys there, that will be your logo here as well. So it's dynamic, it changes for each user. Um, if I uh, type in um, up there and then type in, an email address <clears throat> and then say it's a client and then click save so the email address is added there I can click share now and then go to email users and then this will come from uh, the support email address and it will highlight um, the importance of the, and, and the relevance of, the, of this link um, being a digital uh, folder so close that down um, and then so that's that shared so like I said you can share it, share it with clients you can share it with staff members um, the additional information here um, this will take you to um, 
at the heat manager page where it illustrates the benefits for you but um, this video um, has been uh, created um, on the other link so if I just go back here and go to the dashboard so what's this what is this so if I click this here you probably may have already done that it takes you to the YouTube channel um, regarding the explanation the benefits of using it so um, that's that link there and of course you've clicked this video which is this link here um, I'll quickly go back into heat manager just so um, you can see access that one there go to save and confirm and then uh, benefits for the property owners um, they have access to this particular if I go back here they have access to this page here so they can see um, why um, the information is is important regarding this folder and they have to click watch this video then there's a digital version of the information of, of heat manager which of course um, we um, hope to um, offer you as a booklet in, in December and it just goes through um, the certain elements uh, these four these four um, elements within within heat manager um, come back out of that again um, and go back go back so that's 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 how you create a digital uh, folder um, and we've named it the heat manager facility um, and um, yeah please let us know how you get on